Here's the field for race number four, first heat of the 2000 World Trotting Derby. Today's purse, $560,000. One is credit winner. An American winner, three-year-old, owned by Manhattan Stable of Imlay's Town, New Jersey. Pear Erickson trains. Castle and Farm bred this three-year-old. Jim Martinez will drive. Second in the Canadian Classic. Second in the Hamiltonian. Richest starter today. Two, American native. American winner. Owned by the Doug Ackerman Stables, Inc. LaPorte, Indiana, bred also by the owners, trained by Doug Ackerman. D.R. Ackerman drives. 11 wins, second in the review, and the horseman's stake, the last two starts. Three is Victory Party, owned by the Jackpot Stable of Sweden. A Valley Victory, bred by Liverman Stables. Jimmy Tactor trains. He won it last year with Enjoy Levesque as trainer. His brother Johnny drove. Jimmy today drives. And this trotter, a New York Sire Stakes winner at two. Four Fast Photo, owned by Royal Wire Products, Inc., North Royalton, Ohio. SJ's Photo Colt, bred by Baby Farm Stables International of Pennsylvania. Don Swick, the trainer. Cat Manzi will be in the bike behind Fast Photo. And number four, now parading in front of you, winner of the Valley Victory Stake last year at two. Onto the track now, number five, Please Sack, the Illinois champion. Owned by Dick Baylog of St. Charles, an Armbro Charger colt bred by Walker's Fox Valley Standard Breds, Doc and Pat Walker of Sherman, Illinois, breeders of this brilliant trotter, John Bootenshane, Chicago-based trainer, his trainer, and Anthony Morgan, with two wins already today, will be in the bike. This colt won an elimination of the Canadian Classic, third in the final against the best in the sport. Six, Estigiano. Owned by Russell Williams, who saw his filly yesterday win the filly counterpart to this race. Hanover, Pennsylvania, Super Bowl Colt. Bred also by owner Williams. Trained by Per Erickson, Eric Ledford in the bike. This colt comes off a win in the prestigious Keystone Classic in Pennsylvania. Seven, Illinois-owned Dream Master. Victory Dream Colt. Owned by Bill Wright of Peoria, formerly of Brownstown, Illinois, by Dirk Simpson of Fairfield, by Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago, by Don Coleman of Lebanon, Illinois, bred by Walnut Hall Limited of Lexington. Fairfield native Dirk Simpson trains this colt at Springfield. Today it'll be former national driving and international driving champion Dave McGee behind Dream Master. He has won 14 of 21. He won the Beacon Course an elimination of the Hamiltonian. Illinois hopes ride with number seven and number five today. Dream Master being the second of those Illinois-owned horses. He's on the track parading right now. Dream Master, Dave McGee. Eight is Earl of Stormont. Sir Taurus, owned by Stormont Meadows of Long Salt, Ontario. Bred by Stormont Meadows, trained by Norm Jones, who trained his half-brother, Lord Stormont, who was also driven by Doug Brown when he won the World Trotting Derby here. So this half-brother to a former World Trotting Derby winner. Scoring from eight, he has won the Colonial, a multiple New York Sire Stakes winner. Earl of Stormont is number eight. And number nine is Pine Drop. Pine Ship Colt owned by the Little E Limited Liability Corporation by Bob Rosenheim Stables Limited by Arthur Geiger, New York, Connecticut, New Jersey. Bred by Arden Homestead Stable. Bob Bincal trains John Campbell, the all-time leading money winner in the sport of harness racing, Hall of Famer, will drive this lightly raced colt who last week won the review, or two weeks ago actually, at Springfield. Those nine in the first heat of the 2000 World Trotting Derby. The starter field for the 2000 World Trotting Derby at the post, the gate is moving. Here they come in a beautiful start. They're off and trotting. Please sack between horses for the lead on the inside out. Fastest credit winner far outside rushing. There goes Pine Drop as that field thunders into the first turn. Getting away third is American Native as they drive toward the quarter on the inside. Trotting with the lead by a length and a half is credit winner behind him. Getting a trip now is American Native on the outside. Please sack hunts cover. He may find it. He's third park following him. Pine Drop is fourth with cover. 
Racing on the inside, five, Victory Party. Getting out six still, there is Fast Photo. Trotting seven past the quarter mile juncture is Tijano. Racing next to the outside right now, here comes Dream Master, who is buried back there eighth. He's moving from McGee as they straighten past the quarter down the backstretch. And trending that field of trotters, Earl of Stormont, front panel, 28-3. They're rolling toward the half mile mark, and on the outside, a lead change. Pine Drop makes the top for Campbell. He's there by a length. Inside, now second is Plesak, racing third as they race that way is credit winner. Fourth behind him is American Native, trotting five, victory party. Six as they race that way is Fast Photo, and Dream Master has a lot of ground to make up. He is back there eighth and 56-2 as they race past the half. Now the field bunching as they enter the upper turn. And on the outside, here comes Plesak. The Illinois bred back to the lead for Morgan. Second on the inside, Pine Drop. Credit winner very anxious. He wants to come three wide right now for Matinas as they race toward the three-quarter mile mark. And on the inside, Tijano has trot. And now on the outside, Fast Photo moves up. Dream Master is moving. He's on the outside, but still seventh. They race past the three-quarter mile mark. And Pine Drop again leads. They were there in 125-3. Pine Drop has the lead. They're fanning out all across the racetrack behind him. Dream Master flying on the outside as they race through the lane toward the wire. And um, Credit Winner gets to the lead. Credit Winner now the leader. Pine Drop drops back. Here comes Dream Master Big Rush. Credit Winner is a, and the Tijano. Tijano between horses. Versus Tijano, Tijano over credit winner, Tijano over credit winner. Tijano has pulled a second upset for Russell Williams of the week. Tijano over credit winner, and unofficially, Pine Drop appeared to be there for owner Russell Williams of Hanover, Pennsylvania. And in just a moment, we'll visit with Russell, Eric Ledford, the winning driver. And there goes the winner of the first heat of the 2000 World Trotting Derby, Tijano and Eric Ledford. Now down to Ed Teefee, who has a word with Russell Williams. Thank you, Carl. With me here in the winner's circle, a man is having a great week here at DeCoin. Russell Williams from Hanover, Pennsylvania, the president of Hanover Shoe Farms, uh, the noted uh, nursery that breeds uh, hundreds of standard breads over the years, probably the best-known name in harness racing. And Russell, you're having a great week here at DeCoin. Winner yesterday, the winning owner yesterday of the Philly that won the Philly division of the World Trotting Derby. And they're here in the first heat of the World Trotting Derby. He wins it with the horse going off at 30 to 1 with the least money of any horse in the field. Has to be a little bit of a surprise to you, did it, Russell? Well, we thought we'd bring him here and show him to the other top class horses that were in this race. But this is a better result than I really hoped for. How about going two heats, Russell? You think it'll have much effect? They don't have a chance to do that very often anymore. I'm sure this is the first time your horse has ever gone two heats. Well, the, uh, this is one of the top trainers in the country, and he knows how to put a foundation on a horse, so I think the Colts will be fine the second heat. Well, good luck in the second heat. Russell. 